Hello, I'm Paul Schmitz, a docent at the Montclair Art Museum, and I'd like to introduce to you a gem in their collection, Gathering Hay in the Salt Marshes by Martin Johnson Hee, painted between 1876 and 1882. He died in obscurity in, in Florida in 1904, but his reputation has been resurrected since the 1940s, and he's now considered one of the great American landscapers of the 19th century. He was born in 1819 in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. His first formal training uh, was under Edward Hicks, the folk artist and sign painter, famous for his uh, Peaceable Kingdom paintings. Now in his own life, he was quite a traveler. He went to Rome for two years. He explored the whole Eastern seaboard through New England and New Jersey went to Central and South America to paint orchids and uh, hummingbirds, and later to Florida to paint tropical flowers. He also painted 125 or more uh, marsh scenes. Uh, uh, contemporaneously, uh, Claude Monet was painting his uh, haystack series in, in France. Now let's look at our painting. I'll get out of the way so you can see it better. Gathering Hay in the Salt Marshes, a study of a sunset in our very own uh, meadowlands. Montclair is not that far beyond those distant hills. He creates that distance by the diminishing scale of the haystacks going back in space, creating a huge depth of field. The stratus clouds emphasize the horizontality of the composition and also pick up the light from the sun that is set behind those hills. The stratus clouds are painted in whites and yellows and oranges and reds with purples capping them uh, in the shadowed parts. The blast of red light all the way through the center of the painting in the sky uh, is reflected also in the marshland below. The, that red and the green of the marsh are the central color scheme in the, in the painting. That's a complementary color system, opposite sides of the color wheel. And it's very dynamic. The Hudson River School painters, the group with which he is sometimes placed, often included people in their compositions to act as our guides to the, our, the viewers' contemplation of the sublimity of nature, a very 19th century concept. That's not what he, he is about here. The only people shown here is there's a man on the, on the left in the center, and there's probably a horse there. There's an untended hay wagon in, this, in the middle of the canvas, are tiny, diminished by and overwhelmed by the space that he's created here. He is better classed as a luminous painter, a subset of the Hudson River School that included Fitzhugh Lane and John Kensett, uh, Sanford Gifford, Jasper Cropsey, and others who were exploring the same questions in the US that the Impressionists we're looking at in Europe. The luminous folk also focused on light and atmosphere and the particular moment of the day, but their paintings are very American, where the Impressionist canvases diffuse the actual scene into color sensations. The luminists painted their canvases with just as careful a color study, but with a crystal clarity to the scene. Well, I hope you would like the painting, and I certainly hope you um, <laughs> like this presentation. Thank you for your attention.